Hello, my name is Colin Serze and this is my application for the 2021 Software Sustainability Institute Fellowship Program. I'm a research software engineer at Aberystwyth University on the west coast of Wales. My undergraduate degree was in software engineering and I have a PhD in neural networks for power management in autonomous sailing robots. After I completed my PhD, I went on to work as a postdoc applying these techniques to unmanned aerial vehicles. This work was inherently interdisciplinary and I spent a lot of time working with glaciologists who wanted us to develop these robots and naval architects and engineers who were helping to build them. A lot of this work required integration of different software and hardware components and often in ways their creators never intended. This really pressed home to me the advantages of open source hardware and software. It made reusing and repurposing possible, allowing me to reuse what others had done to carry out my own research. This work also really reinforced the value of good data management practice to me. I found that it was vital to record every parameter behind an experiment and where possible every sensor reading and every decision taken by my code. Working with field equipment that was at the mercy of its environment, it was often important to get data backed up and off to a safe location as quickly as possible. After working in robotics, I then went on to become the data manager at the National Plant Phenomics Centre. This uses computer vision techniques to analyse images of plants grown in an automated greenhouse. These images are rapidly analysed to monitor the yield and resilience of key food crops. My role was a combination of software and hardware engineering, system administration and managing and publishing data sets. During my time in this job, I got the centre to begin using Git internally for source code management, to publish some of their source code that they used for analysis on, publicly on GitHub, and to publish their data sets in public repositories. I also gained further interdisciplinary experience, this time working with plant biologists, geneticists and mathematical modellers. I now work on Supercomputing Wales, a joint uh, venture between Aberystwyth, Bangor, Cardiff and Swansea Universities. My role is a mixture of software development, systems administration, developing and running training courses and generally trying to build an interdisciplinary research software community. I work with researchers across a wide range of disciplines including bioinformatics, remote sensing, solar physics, medical imaging, mathematical modelling of fluids and structures and many more. One common theme I'm finding in much of the research I support is the increasing use of machine learning. There's a constant need to choose from and understand how to utilise an ever increasing choice of libraries and frameworks which make machine learning accessible to non-experts. Since 2017, I've been a carpentries instructor where I've run numerous workshops and helped researchers improve their computational skills. I've also developed a new lesson on using supercomputing whales, which I'm beginning to merge to HPC carpentry. I've begun developing a new course on machine learning with Python um, and scikit-learn. I presented this work at um, Carpentry Connect Manchester in 2019, and I'm now moving this course into the carpentries incubator to gain more traction. I want to use this fellowship to help continue the development of my machine learning materials and in particular I want to democratise machine learning by making it accessible to more researchers in more disciplines and I think the Carpentries model of concentrating on teaching the most useful things that are easy to learn first is a really good approach to achieving this. I will use the money from this fellowship to run workshops at a range of different conferences and events. This will include some online sessions though even if we are allowed to travel again as it will provide an opportunity for those who'd be unable to make it to a suitable conference. I've realised from the work I've done already that this task requires a huge level of diversity. There are so many areas of machine learning and um, many different application domains. I would use the fellowship to tap into the diversity of the fellows network and the wider SSI communities to try and recruit people with a broad range of skills and experience to participate in developing, improving and trialling out this material. One of the most interesting things the development to date has done is to prompt a discussion on the ethics of machine learning. And this is clearly such an important area at the moment and something which we really need to consider before applying machine learning to many areas of research. Again, I think the diversity of the SSI community will help spark some really interesting conversations and developments around this. So why should you choose me for this fellowship? Because I have a broad range of skills which I think will help further the Institute's mission. I regularly work alongside researchers from a range of computationally intensive disciplines, including remote sensing, bioinformatics, medical imaging and solar physics. 
I've experience in developing software for these communities and bringing software development best practices to them. <coughs> I have experience of communicating complex research concepts through media appearances and science events that I've done with my robotics work. This is further enhanced by my teaching experience, including at pre-university level, undergraduate, postgraduate and postdoctoral level. These skills e apply equally when presenting a technical concept like machine learning or programming to a research community who is unfamiliar with them. I've built up several different communities around my work, and these include research software communities within my university, but also an international robotic sailing community um, through the Microtransat Challenge, a transatlantic robot boat race that I've been managing. Finally, I try to put open source at the heart of everything I do, whether that be using open source tools in my day to day work, releasing my code, or encouraging others to do so. Thank you for listening and considering my fellowship.